before, but how did you ensure that your team was prepared before going into country? I guess kind of like right up to like leading right up to it because you prepare all year, but um, kind of like right before you leave or anything kind of like just even like preparing them to kind of travel because that whole thing is like really new for a lot of people. Um, going to a new country. Mm -hmm. Um, I might not be the best person to ask about this because I was packing the night before I left for Bolivia. Um, and so my, my packing style is, leaves a little to be desired. Um, but really delegating out those planning responsibilities. It shouldn't just be the project manager, you know, like asking somebody to make the packing list and asking another person to review it or um, having, you know, I keep saying brainstorming sessions, but they're important because a lot of things come up in them. Brainstorming kind of what um, what you might encounter and really taking a lot of time with review call three. If review call three is done right and not just and you're not just writing review call three to the outline, I think that it's one of the most valuable planning resources. I remember when we were doing it and I was really annoyed that we had to, you know, call the insurance company and ask them all these questions. And then we got to country and it turned out that we needed to call the insurance company and my, my business manager knew how to do it because she'd spent that time and put in, put in the groundwork so that when you, when you get into those situations, you're already prepared because you've done a lot of the background work. And I think that that's really important. And then talking to people who've traveled, talking to people from last year's team, talking to other people on your team who are returning members about, you know, what were, what were the difficult things? What do you remember? And getting some different opinions from different people is really valuable. Yeah. In terms of preparing people for traveling in country, I think it's important to really emphasize the huge responsibility of students on an EIA bridge project. So there is so much to know before you go on a project. There's an entire manual, there's tons of construction techniques and safety protocols that everyone should really know, but I don't think it's an individual's responsibility as a leader to make sure everyone knows all those things. It's the leader's responsibility to make sure people know it's their responsibility to know all those things, to really emphasize that we do have huge amounts of responsibility on these projects. If we don't know how to set the seg of our bridge, or if we don't know that we need a hoisting loop to set the seg, and we don't account for that in our material, um, our material list that we send to EIA, then we might not have one. So we have a huge responsibility to know what's going on on our projects and to really be the engineering supervisors on the project. So as long as people know about that responsibility and really feel the responsibility for the project, I think they will take the necessary steps to prepare themselves as long as you help them find the resources they need. And secondly, it's really important to emphasize safety because I think it's easy to just go to a wilderness first aid course and kind of with the like, yeah, I'm never gonna need to use this and um this is just kind of a protocol that we have to go through but really emphasizing that safety is our number one priority and that if things happen on site we do need to be a hundred percent prepared we need people who are confident in wilderness first aid and we need to go through thorough incident plans on how to get to a hospital what if there's a flood and we can't cross the river safely how do we get to a hospital? How do we get to um, a health center? What if there's blockades? What do we do in that situation? So really trying to think through every single thing that could go wrong on a project and how you would deal with it. The thing about like planning and travel, right? Is planning is super important, um, but inevitably, right? When you get there and you start actually working or you land, yeah. <laughs> there's kind of stuff that happens that isn't in your plan mm -hmm. uh, and so what I like to do a lot of times is um, think about frameworks and hey if if a problem arises right what's the framework that we're going to use to talk about solving the problem um, who are we going to engage what types of conversations are we going to have um, when are we going to engage the community um, I feel like that's that's important and is easily overlooked if there's a problem on site 
the team can just start spinning their wheels and trying to solve it. Um, when if you just ask a community member, he might go or she might go, oh yeah, that happens all the time. Here's what we normally do. Um, and so it's, it's important to understand that you're going to be in a, what's to you a very foreign setting, but to the people around you, that's just their life. And you know, that's every day for them. And so it's important to utilize that as a resource too. Yeah.